What up, what up? It is Alex, the Fantasy Football Hustler, back at you. And oh yeah, we got another waiver wire video for week eight. This is the running back edition. Hit subscribe. I got four guys to mention here. Running backs are very thin, but you still got to make those moves. Now I like to start off with the guys who I like the least out of the four. Now it's Roshan Johnson, more of a stash. We know that Swift is getting most of the work out there, but we have seen Roshan get a handful of red zone carries and he scored a handful of touchdowns on the season as well. Three touchdowns in their last three games. Jacksonville, he did not score a touchdown though. I feel like all of these guys are more stashes than anything, but yeah, Roshan, he's only rostered in 15% of Yahoo leagues. So readily available. If you have an extra spot on your bench or a rotating spot or two, he'd be a running back that I'd pick up. Now Tyler Algier, nothing amazing. Amazing. That's for sure. But we keep seeing it going spurts of him getting points, getting work. And it's like them spelling Bijan. And it seems like it's like they're just trying not to overwork Bijan in like certain games. This is going to be a bad game versus Tampa Bay coming up. And I bet Algier gets mixed in into the past game a little bit. Still more of a speculative ad, even though he's 39% rostered. I've been telling you to pick him up for weeks. And if nothing else, Bijan insurance. Ray Davis. Big stash, 26% rostered, double-digit points in the last two weeks. One of those games, James Cook did not play. So if James Cook is in anywhere health-wise to where he's not going to play, I feel like Ray Davis is going to be that guy, and especially like crazy. So even just that in general, he's 5'8", 220. This guy's a bowling ball. I feel like either way, as it gets a little bit colder over there, he's going to have more of a workload either way. So this is a stash and like a second-half guy who I think could be a big help to your squad. My last guy here, Jalen Warren ran a little over 50% of the snaps this past week. He's been back for two games, but this past week is the one where he played a little bit more. Got 12 touches. Najee still balled out, but Warren, he's going to get a lot of touches. Like Steelers just run the ball a lot. It's in their MO. <laughs> They've been doing it for years. And a lot of times it's one guy who you really want, but this Jalen Warren and Najee split, like it's something that you want both pieces. And if you don't have both pieces, you're not screwed. But I know there's some Najee people out there that might be getting a little nervous about Warren. So if you go pick him up, pick him up. You might be able to trade him to the Najee manager if they are freaking out. He's the only one out of these guys who I feel like will have his own value as a flex, not just some random stash that you just sit on the bench, even though for most weeks until these bye weeks start hitting crazy, he probably is just going to be a stash that you sit on the bench. There you have it. They're all the running backs. We got four of them this week. It's a very ugly week, but make sure that you guys are making moves every week and make sure you hit the subscribe button and come hang out on the live streams. I go live pretty much every single morning and we are live before all the games, during all the games. Sunday morning is the most lit live stream because I'm giving you all the information, answering start and sit questions. Nobody in the fantasy football industry answers as many start and sit questions as I do on a daily basis or weekly basis. So make sure you guys follow. I'll be the biggest resource that you have. Go check out the other videos. They're popping up right now.